Okay, uh, Slow Mojo here. Welcome back. Final Fantasy 3 for the Super Nintendo. We just beat up on the Welk, which is a really ugly snail. Uh, yeah, whatever. Vaporite, some kind of flying thing. Uh, looks like it's made ice, so let's try shooting fire at it. But it doesn't really matter what we shoot at it. We're going to kill it anyway, so it's not really of concern. Um... Pretty soon we're going to get right into the meat of the story here. The uh, story on this game is quite complicated and there's a lot of it. This game is a lot of... There's a lot of playing in this game, let's put it that way. You're going to spend a fair amount of time um, just doing storyline stuff. But... Uh, other than that, yeah, you, uh, you know, wants me to actually advance the video? Why am I having to advance the video? I don't want to advance the video. Yeah, to, now she's just called Girl. So we'll find out who it is. Ah, <clears throat> um, this is so boring. Although, some guy just disappearing is pretty friggin' cool, I gotta say that. Yeah, um, I'm way too happy for my own good. I don't quite understand this. I should be a lot angrier than this. Uh, yeah, remember this lightning too? You are gonna see a lot of that lightning later on as the game progresses and it gets really bothersome the more and more you actually see it. Uh, Anyway, um, oh, I'm in control now. Where am I? Oh, and I just removed the crown. <coughs> <coughs> All right. Head hurts. Yeah, I'm not doing those voices anymore. Oh, buddy, what are you holding that out with? Slave. Slave crown? You mean this chick's into BDSM and stuff like that? Alright, um... Yeah, no more bad jokes. I'm gonna try and avoid those. Cause that's kinda... that's kinda not cool. I'll stick with the name they give them, just because it makes following the story easier. And if I talk about somebody who I happen to rename... That's kind of a problem for, you know... For you guys. Oh, dogs. Check it out. Um, yeah. So I don't know, uh, yeah, I don't know what else is happening. I, uh, Sunday afternoon and there's kind of nothing to do. I, uh, I, well, yeah, maybe I'll, I think I just want to kind of discuss why why I decided to do start doing uh, LPs um, can I touch the fire? I can't touch the fire um, I started trying to I've been watching LPs from uh, a lot of people and they've been really cool um, some of my favorite subscriptions guys like Proton John and uh, um, Corn, Corn Shack's another good one. He, um, he's, that dude amazes me that he can do certain things with such hard games and still, uh, you know, like, do so well with them. It kind of makes me horribly jealous, actually. <coughs> Sorry about that. It kind of makes me horribly jealous. They, he can take games like Fester's Quest and things like that and just, like, beat them with, without even a challenge. Those kind of things are kind of disturbing to me. Well, no, they're not disturbing. I take it back. There's, there's nothing disturbing about it. That's just really, really friggin' cool that he can do that. But, um, I, I've wanted to try uh, LPing. I've just been really too lazy to 
get my shit together and actually do it. Um, yeah, there's uh, lots of good games out there that that people are doing. I know um, H.C. Bailey's doing, or he did Final Fantasy for the uh, for the NES. He's doing Final Fantasy IV uh, for the... Actually, it's Final Fantasy II for the NES, Final Fantasy IV uh, in Japan. All right, let's... Sorry, I'm getting the hell out of here. I, um... Yeah, I'm, I'm not gonna fight a whole lot of these... In a whole lot of these battles, only because... You know, you guys don't want to see me sit here and grind away. Um, you know what? In this case, uh, you're going to see a little magic. Mainly because if I take a couple more hits, I'm going to be just pretty friggin' dead. That will not serve my purposes for LPing, besides showing you the continue screen. And that's not really what I want to be doing right now. Um... God damn repo man. Uh, all right. Uh, oh, here's the other thing about Final Fantasy three, six, three. I'm gonna call it three because that's the I'm playing this the SNES version of it right now. The other thing about Final Fantasy three was you can't really learn. Alright, I'm trying to remember. I'm playing on a keyboard here, so if I start doing some weird, you know, selections and weird things with my cursor and whatnot, it's not because I'm, you know, trying to do anything different. I just don't, you know, I don't remember really the, con the commands on the keyboard, so... And I just fell through a hole. That's that's friggin' awesome. Good on me. And now I fall down and the world goes blurry. Hoo ha. That's that's great. And here we're introduced to Kefka. Kefka is Alright, Kefka is perhaps the coolest villain in any of the Final Fantasy games that I've ever played. He is just such a little psychopath, and his his little on-screen sprite is just friggin' awesome. This little Looney Tune crazy guy with a cape and a feather in his friggin' hair. He's uh, and he laughs. The way he laughs is just unbelievably funny. I don't think they actually start showing... I don't... Well, I guess we don't actually see him laugh for a while, but it's, um... It's really, really funny. Uh, yeah. I mean, get, getting back to my earlier point, um... You can't necessarily learn magic. Like in Final Fantasy II, you learned it by gaining levels. Here you have to learn it by equipping Magicite, which is basically... It's sort of like a summon monster, but as you equip it and win battles, you get magic... Oh, it's like action points. It's hard to explain. I don't know what they're actually called. But they give you... The more of them you equip, you can equip a certain number of them. And you have the ability to cast magic spells as you learn them from certain call, you know, summon monsters, otherwise known as, in this game, they're called espers. In um, Final Fantasy II, there were just summons. But yeah. Um, okay, old man, the girl wants to talk to you, or I want you to talk to the girl. Uh, Magitech chick. Yeah, Imperial Troops are chasing her. Right, what on? Not responsible for actions, all that kind of, all that kind of crap. So we better help her, yeah, make your way to Figaro, talk to the king. And, um, yeah. 
This is as good a place as any to sign off because I'm uh, just about out of time. So we're going to punch out right about here. This is Slow Mojo signing off. And I'll see you next time for part three. Thanks for watching.